Tampa Bay Buccaneers sign half at Leonard Fournette. And let's be honest, this move shouldn't be a surprise to anybody. We saw this move come in as soon as Jacksonville Jaguars let go of Leonard Fournette just a few days ago. And Leonard Fournette to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers is actually a really good fit. Now, a lot of people are under the assumption that Little Fournette is a bust, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I don't know where those people who are out there that are saying Little Fournette is a bust are getting their information from because the last time I checked, in the two out of the last three seasons that Little Fournette has been in the NFL, he's rushed for 1,000 yards. And the only season that he didn't rush for 1,000 yards was because he missed half of the season due to an injury. So I don't know why people are coming with the assumption that Leonard Fournette is a bust. Leonard Fournette is a really good halfback. Now, is he a top five halfback? No, but he is a really good halfback. And he is going to add on to an already high-powered offense. Simple Bay, now you add Leonard Fournette. You got Leonard Fournette, you got Chris Godwin, you got Mike Evans, you got Rob Kontowski, you got Tom Brady, you got OJ Howard. So the rich just got richer. And... My biggest concern is not how Leonard Fournette is going to fit in this offense because, I mean, it isn't really too hard to, you know, plug Leonard Fournette in your offense. You literally just hand him the football and let him do work. And he's going to do even better in Temple than what he did in, Tem in um, Jacksonville because when he was playing for the Jacksonville Jaguars, basically teams after his first season were just stacking the box, trying to stop the run and forcing Jacksonville Jaguars to pass the football because they haven't really had all that great quarterback play over the last couple of seasons. So Leonard Fournette now with Temple Bay, I think he's going to have an even better season this season with Temple Bay than he's had his whole entire career so far playing for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now, here's my biggest question. What does this mean for Ronald Jones? What does it mean for LaShawn McCoy and Keyshawn Vaughn? If you're Ronald Jones right now, I'm peed off. I'm asking my agent for a trade absolutely right now because – Despite the fact that Ronald Jones has been all that impressive in the few years that he's been in the NFL, it still are some teams out there that could use Ronald Jones right now as their second best halfback. Like Philadelphia could use him. Maybe Atlanta could use him if they don't really trust Todd Gurley to stay healthy. So, I mean, it's going to be really interesting to see what's going to happen with Ronald Jones. Because I'm Ronald Jones right now. I'm getting on the phone with my age and I'm saying, hey, man, get me, on get me out of here, man. They don't want me. They brought in the living for net. They don't view me as a franchise back. Get me up on out of here. Now, if you're Keyshawn Vaughn, you don't really have that much say in the matter because you just got drafted by Timber Bay. And then if you're LaShawn McCoy, you know, I don't really think LaShawn McCoy was expecting to have a big role in this offense anyway. I think he just joined Timber Bay because Timber Bay is a great city to go to when you retire. So I wasn't really expecting that much out of LaShawn McCoy. But, I mean, what does this mean for Ronald Jones? What is his future in Tampa Bay? And this is why I was telling people, I was telling people, I was like, listen, man, Bruce Arians and Tim Bay, they don't want to commit to Ronald Jones. Now, I know previously before they signed Leonard Fournette, all throughout training camp, the talk was Ronald Jones going to be the number one guy heading into the season. But I kept on telling people, I was like, man, listen, you can't trust what Bruce Arians and any Tim Bay coach on his coaching staff says when it comes to this half bat position, especially when it concerns Ronald Jones. Because listen, Tim Bay has been calling Ronald Jones the guy ever since last season. Last year, he was supposed to be the guy going into 2019. He was playing carries with Peyton Barber. It took Tim Bay halfway through throughout the season to realize that Ronald Jones is better than Peyton Barber. And then even then, he still wasn't getting a lot of touches, right? So then, in the offseason, the talk was that Ronald Jones is going to be the number one guy. And what does Tim Bay do? Oh, they drive Keyshawn Vaughn out of Vanderbilt. Then, you know, throughout training camp, a week ago or whenever, it was announced that Ronald Jones is most likely going to be the RB1 on this roster. And what did they do? They go out and they bring in LaShawn McCoy. Then, they bring in Leonard Fournette. So, I mean, Tampa Bay, bringing in Leonard Fournette, it's an upgrade. Now, like I said, Leonard Fournette is going to be a monster for Tampa Bay. Because unlike when he was playing for Jacksonville, he's going to have a pretty good offensive line. He doesn't have to worry about defense. It's just basically all in on the run, trying to stop him. Because now he has a legitimate quarterback. Now, here's where 
Leonard Fournette has to improve that. He has to improve his ability to catch passes out of the backfield because that is one thing that has plagued Leonard Fournette. Now, when he was with the Jacksonville Jaguars before he was released, I was hearing a lot of rumblings about how improved as a pass catcher Leonard Fournette has been throughout training camp for the Jacksonville Jaguars. So if he has improved as a pass catcher and is just at least average when it comes to catching the ball out of the backfield, he's even going to be more of an upgrade for the Tempe Buccaneers offense. So the rich get richer. Tim Bay was already a pretty good favorite to win the Super Bowl. Now they're also winning the Super Bowl or drastically going to increase Will Leonard Fournette because now they have a good halfback, a proven halfback that has had success in the NFL. I don't know where a lot of people are getting this assumption that Leonard Fournette is a bust. In the three years that he's played in the NFL, he's had 1,000-yard seasons two out of the last three of those years. And the only year that he didn't have a 1,000-yard season, which I believe was... I can't remember the year. I think it was 2018. He didn't even play that full entire year because he was dealing with injuries. So when Leonard Fernandez is fully healthy, he has produced at a really high level. And you also get him for a one-year contract. So Leonard Fournette is looking to prove himself as well. And it works out because a lot of you guys want to be like, oh, JT is just a one-year deal. You're basically renting him for one year. After this year, you know he could walk away sound with anybody in free agency. Listen, Tampa Bay is all in right now. Tim Bay doesn't care about the future. Tim Bay cares about winning Super Bowls and trying to win the Super Bowl with Tom Brady as of right now. Nobody gives a damn about what's going to happen in two or three years down the road with Leonard Fournette. Tim Bay is just doing the move right now to try to win a Super Bowl this season. This team is built to win right now with Tom Brady. So Leonard Fournette improves Tim Bay's chances of winning the Super Bowl this season. So Leonard Fournette signs with the Tim Bay Buccaneers, one-year deal. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section down below. How do you think Ronald Jones is going to respond to this? Make sure you like the video, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.